This D News episode is brought to you by Domain.com. If diamonds are a girl's best friend, then Saturn and Jupiter should be every girl's favorite planet. <laughs> Hey guys, Amy here for D News. Diamonds hold a weird and somewhat controversial place in our culture as a stone whose cost we've artificially driven way up because of how rare they are. But scientists suspect that diamonds aren't all that rare on the gas giant planets Jupiter and Saturn. The process is still a bit of a mystery, but diamonds form on Earth when carbon is buried more than 100 miles below the surface. The 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit heat at that depth combined with the 725,000 pounds per square inch of pressure turn the raw material into super hot precious stone that cools and hardens as it rises back towards the surface, usually hitching a ride on some fast moving magma. These same conditions that yield diamonds on Earth exist on gas giant planets Jupiter and Saturn, though slightly differently. These planets aren't structures like the Earth with a mantle and layers of rocks. They're dense gas balls with a solid core, but even without hard layers of rocks, there's enough heat and pressure in the gas to create precious stones. On Saturn, massive lightning storms can yield graphite or soot. This elemental carbon can fall into the thick atmosphere where the intense pressure of the gas crushes it into a gemstone. Small chunks could bind together, forming massive diamondbergs floating around in the atmosphere. And as these stones fall deeper into the planet towards the core, they can turn from a solid into a liquid diamond form. It might literally be raining diamonds near the core of the planet. And it's not just the gas giants that might have diamonds floating through the clouds. The ice giants Neptune and Uranus are thought to provide stable enough environments for diamonds to exist in these planets' chilly cores. And extrasolar planets or exoplanets could also host diamonds. We've found a lot of distant worlds that are like gas giants, but we're not quite ready to mine any of these planets for the sake of engagement rings. So what do you guys think about off-world diamond mines? Let us know in the comments below, or you can catch me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week.